one, there's a lot of history here. Rosewood has a huge amount of history. Ah, almost, almost. Let's just get that in there real quick. Music has just an ability to touch people. That stage right out these doors was the first stage that allowed a lot of black artists to perform. Ike and Tina Turner, Jackie Wilson, Etta James Alden performed on that very stage. Now to been down the road park. So it was kind of just to revitalize that history and, and there's a lot of underserved youth in this community. And that's the big focus is to give underserved youth the access to um, the music and the exposure. Five, six, seven. I've been down this road before. I see clouds full of thunderstorms. Yeah. So Notes for Notes has been around for 10 years now. We just launched our 20th studio. This makes number 17. I spent some time up on my lonely contemplating life. And we have them all over the east, west coast, and everywhere in between. This is the only one in Texas. Um, so we're very fortunate for it to be here in the live music capital of the world. This was my first singing song where I felt like Ricochet, babe. Yeah. <laughs> And I felt like I could sing and rap at the same time. There's youth that'll come like, hey, I want to get in the studio. And when they find out that she's in. Hey, I'm that's how I feel like you should put more synth into it. They totally bypass everything and go straight to where she's at and just sit there and admire her. I feel vibrations from your, your mind. I don't understand you. Her past was a little bit, a little bit rough. My mom doesn't know I'm doing this at all. She's in jail. My dad, he's in jail too. She has become a perfect face to speak to those youth in a similar situation. My old man used to rap and do all this other stuff, but he got caught up into drugs. So I would place myself in his situation, be like, I don't want to be anything like him. But I'm able to see a brighter future, a brighter light through my involvement with music. Time, wrote this little rhyme just to take a step back. I say come in with eight bars. Mommy was a dancer, daddy was a hustler, his brother, my uncle was a table buster, sipping in, tipping all the way, day to day, they're just trying to make money just to get paid. And she come in with two pages worth of stuff. He's in the bricks, no time to take a nap, never had visions of a graduation cap. That young 15 year old girl that came in that was very shy is now. I think of it as this is your next step. Performing every weekend, um, she's actually speaking on behalf of younger youth there are no limitations 25 year old me hopefully has a Grammy or two I'm hoping for the best of myself oh, yeah. hey I want to do a song with Lamont just me and him yeah for real yeah y'all crush it's an outlet that stimulates the mind it gives you a focus so while you could easily be involved um, and, and the negative things that you know certain communities offer, this is kind of the safe haven. Appreciate it. To allow you to come in, be creative, and also be recognized <laughs> for doing, you know, for art. You know, people appreciate art. All right, let's go knock your verse out real quick. You know, it's not my studio. It's everybody's family thing. There are some people that that want to get out of this lifestyle and be something better. All right, so let's let's do it. Let's do uh, give it a run real quick. You know, people appreciate art. It's one of those that just again it, it's a it's a positive parallel between life and and the culture of art. I throw up my pain, it's what we are growth, and you feeling me, cause I'm feeling you. I'll take another one down fit for abuse.